my uh, work in the industry begins essentially in 1990 when I formed a company that's uh, known as uh, Aardvark. I think the first product we tried to do was a SPDIF uh, card that was supposed to be an ISA card you put in the computer that gets like two channels, SPDIF in and out. Then the plan was using this card, we're going to make a separate A to D converter and a D to A converter so you can actually analog to digital so you can record and then D to A so you can get the sound out of your computer. And then also it was necessary to have a clock, a device that clocks the converters. Um, because uh, at that time, you know, clock was not something you actually go out and buy. Every company that made an interface, they made a clock for their interface. And of course, I started making a clock for my, you know, soon to be interface um, for my converters. And then I started selling the converter. Uh, and, and in fact, there were a few people who bought them. They liked them. I think it was like 18-bit converter, which was at the time, you know, state of the art. There was a company called Sonic Solutions, and they were making the sophisticated by then software for mastering and, and recording. So people discovered my clock, that my clock, they were using my clock to run the Sonic stuff, and it was like improving the sound quality. Then all of a sudden, like, people started calling me, and all of a sudden, without realizing it, I had a hit product so that the clock that I built for my own converters turned out to be much more important than the converters I ever built. That's how it happened, sort of how we all of a sudden became a hit uh, clocking company. So I was one of the first few people that applied the so-called digital synthesis DDS method, uh, producing the frequencies uh, in a digital way to the problem of producing an audio clock. So the Art Sync was the product that Artvark made. Anyhow, this little box is uh, virtually used by most uh, studios in the States. There's still quite a few of them in use in New York and in LA, and people are mastering on them. Uh, so this is how I sort of became Mr. Clocks. <laughs> <laughs>